mind right, the mind of Christ in us, and that changes everything. Amen. And then the software loads the Word of God. That's it. That's good. That's it. Yeah, we need to do that. Are you feeling that? Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Man, I'm feeling that. Yeah. Are you? I am. You okay. do feel that. I am. No, I'm Jewish. I'll tell you if I don't like it. <laughs> in a nice way. No, you always class. These guys, you guys. Over there and then, I mean, you don't want to sell with me. Someday, we're going to get sponsorships. We won't be selling stuff. We'll let them sell. Uh, are we live? Yes, you are. And after what I just said, I wish you'd tell me. But it is truly my heart. While I was talking, maybe? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention. Oh, what am, I, am I driving? It's a great Mel Tillis joke. Uh, okay, then we're ready for Marshall to do the countdown, and then we're good. People are waiting with bated breath. I don't know what bated breath is, but I've heard that said by people. Does that, was that what that means? Yeah, it's like when you're, you know, when you're waiting for yeah, that's, that's baited. Abated, abated, breath. Abated, breath. abated, and it turned into baited. Are you sure we're on? Yes. Okay, I say that. My phone is like always behind. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, stand by, everybody. Ready. Five, four, three, two. What a great show we have for you today. Pastor of Faith and Wisdom Church, my dear friend and pastor, Gary McSpadden is here and one of the most fabulous singers you will ever find in this world. George Dyer is here from the George Dyer Show here in Branson, Missouri. What a great day. Do you know what happened in history today? By the way, welcome to August. It's August 1st. Can you believe we're way past the halfway point of this year? But, uh, you know, a census was taken and uh, Jesus was born. You remember all that? Well, the first United States census happened today in 1790. There was, when they took the first census, there were only 4 million people in America. Wow, we have grown. We're, we're 400 million now after the first census. Well, we're growing here. So I hope that you will join us for a great program today as we're growing uh, and taking a census of people, what they like or don't like about the show. Let us know and uh, we'll do everything that, uh, we'll do nothing you probably say. But still, we will try. Our heart is to be there for you. The census is taken. It's time to roll it. The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. I wish I could do that over again. It's the Kevin Shorey Show. Tape before a live studio audience at the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today, Kevin's special guest, Gary McSpadden. Special music by George Dyer. And now they've come to their senses and the census is in. The Kevin Shorey Show is a hit. Here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Bam, bam. Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show. I don't want to hesitate one second. I am surrounded by great looking men. I'm telling you, it makes me feel handsome and debonair or whatever the word is. And just because these men, someday when I grow up, I want to be just like them. Here to sing, oh, what a beautiful morning, George Dyer. <laughs> There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. And it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky. The sound 
sounds of the earth are like music. All the sounds of the earth are like music. The breeze is so busy, it don't miss a tree. And an old weeping willer is laughing at me. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going. I could hear that. I need to have that like on my phone. I wake up in the morning. It's my alarm. Just, oh, what a beautiful. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is up. Uh, S-O-N. Jesus is up. And uh, he is there for you today. And uh, we just want to bring the good news in a world of bad news. Just seems like, you know, one bad news day, you turn through the news and you, you get to, and then you even turn on some Christian programs and they'll tell you the end of the world. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm here to tell you that Jesus is the answer and uh, we're just so thankful to, that there is good news in the middle, middle of all this bad news. The good news is Jesus is alive and well. It's the gospel. Gospel means good news. And so there's such good news. Many are joining us on Facebook Live. Terry and Joe. Joe out there in New York on Long Island. Out there, Joe. Hey, when you come, I know she's coming to vacation here. Wouldn't you like to go see George Dyer? We got to go see George Dyer. Don is here. Uh, there, he loves the Cubs. He's got the Cubs, the Chicago no. Cubs. Go Cubs. Not my, no, no. Boston Red Sox. But anyway, uh, this mug that I'm drinking from, yay, is a Kevin Shorey Show mug. We have Kevin Shorey Show t-shirts, and, uh, and it's, it's cool because this is why I like it. Not necessarily because I want to sell you trinkets like cups and t-shirts, but because of our logo, I want to get the word out. We want to reach the world. That's why our name, The Kevin Shorey Show, is on a picture of the world, because we want to reach the whole world and let them know there is good news in the midst of it all. And... Uh, this month, we are so thankful for our monthly partners. We have, you know, a handful of monthly partners, and it's growing, and uh, we need it to grow a lot faster, but I, I want to entice you to come and become part of a growing, growing ministry. This ministry is reaching the world, is going around the world. I've talked with some people that are sharing our dream and taking our cameras to some of the, you know, where there's, where there's natural disasters, where there's, uh, where there's shootings, where there's, there's, where, where there's tragedy, I think the light of Jesus needs to be. And some people are getting on board with that, helping us to support. Would you join and support with us? We're asking you to start at $34 a month. That's a dollar for every year. I've been in ministry 34 years. And $34 a month, you become what we call our family of friends member. And if you'll do $34 a month, that's just a little over a dollar a day. Uh, that's, uh, you know, you, you maybe give up a cup of Starbucks coffee, or you give up a, a, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a dollar menu, whatever, every day, just one time every day. You know, you can help us reach the world. And uh, this month, we have a brand new gift. I preached this message, Pursue for What's Coming to You, at, um, it was around the 4th of July at Faith and Wisdom Church. The pastor is here with us today, Gary McSpadden, who let me uh, minister there at the church. We've got it on DVD. Oh, that's my CD. Where did I put my DVD? Oh. Put them all over here. The DVD is coming to you <laughs> uh, just to say thank you. Uh, none of the stuff that we have is for you to buy and we don't sell anything. It's just thank you gifts. Go to KevinShorey.com and you can find out all the different gifts that we have. I want to talk about one. I want to make sure I got time for this. I wanted to go quicker. But uh, my new sermon plus a gift from Amy. Amy has got, she makes all these wonderful watercolor. Here's some of her paintings. It's on this, this, but we can't, we'll, we'll show it maybe. We'll put a little close up in post. But uh, she is amazing. One of our vendors here in the Branson Mill. And she has made a painting and put it on a coaster. It's the lion laying down with the lamb. And so we're going to send that with the message. Pursue for it's coming to you. Preached here in Branson. 
uh, from uh, Faith and Wisdom Church with this coaster, the lion laying down with the lamb. And so these are gifts to say thank you. One of the thank you gifts that's really important to me. The other day, we have a new cat, a cat that was a stray that somebody was visiting our house and fed and then it never left. So it had actually had a brother, but the brother died and then the one survived. See, he's a survivor. We thought we'll keep him. So he is the cutest thing. He thinks he's one of our dogs and so runs with our dogs, fights with our dogs, plays with our dogs. I'm playing with him the other day and... Uh, I'm playing, but he's faster than me, and he's got claws. Never play with anybody that has sharp claws. Never date anybody that has sharp claws. But anyway, thank you. So Mikey just grabs me and just claws the heck out of this finger, which if you had a close-up, which I won't do, I, I don't like Facebook, two things, food and people's wounds. They show this on Facebook. Oh, it drives me nuts. But, but this was a big wound. But I promise you, it's been tested, it's been proven, uh, and I'm one more testimony that when you use something that God made called sacred silver, silver, it's pure silver, it's not like the silver soles or the colloidal silver, this is new and improved so it absorbs into your body longer, it's been structured, and they've actually somehow infused into the metal sacred music, like George is going to sing here this song, he's going to sing, it's beautiful, be still and know, I bet this does a jump every time George sings, you know, but the silver inside of here is made sacred by the music, but it's the structured, it's really, they've taken something out that was in the other silvers, so that it's alkaline as well, not not acidic. So get your silver today. This is sacred structured silver liquid or the gel. I put the gel on my finger. Cuts, abrasions, wounds, burns. It heal, the, It speeds up the healing process. This I can say for a fact from my own testimony because this was a horrible, horrible cut that within just day before yesterday was starting to get infected and puffy and now is almost non-existent. See, you can't see it from afar because of this. So get your silver today. Go to kevinshory.com and find out where you can find it or call us at 844. It's right here, 47 Kevin. 844 47 Kevin. And now I want to talk about one of the greatest places on earth. When you come to Branson, you've got to visit this wonderful place. It's always growing. Matter of fact, this is one of the best years the Branson Mill has ever had with growing with the most vendors they've ever had. And uh, I'm glad we're here, a part of the Branson Mill family. Roll it. The world-famous Branson Mill at 3300 North Gretna Road, where art meets entertainment. Featuring the Corner Store Studio, friendly staff, hundreds of shops, demonstrations, crafts, snacks, classes, artwork, fun for all ages, the Treehouse Cafe. All under one roof at the world-famous Branson Mill, where art meets entertainment. And we're back. Thank you all. Appreciate it. We have a great studio audience here. I think these are all mostly Branson people that are here. Uh, we had some partners that visit. They're going to come back. They just moved here from Washington State. Everybody's coming from Washington and Oregon, aren't they, April? But anyway, we're glad you're here. And we're glad Pastor Gary McSpadden is here. Would you welcome to the hey, Kevin Shorey Show. <laughs> Pastor, thank you for coming. Yes, sir. You are on our very first television program that we I did. Was. I and, was. I uh, honored to do that. Uh, it's an honor to have you. Thank you. I have said to this privately to you all the time, and uh, well, probably not enough, but uh, I have said it a couple of times, and I will say it publicly. I can't believe one of my friends in this life is Gary McSpadden, because <laughs> now, and he will never toot his own horn. He's not like this at all. He is like Paul talks about, being humble and... Uh, and uh, walks worthy of the calling, Ephesians 4. We talked about that with Marshall, the AM Kevin show, which if you have your WGA and your Roku, you need to look it up and look at our morning program or go Facebook, we're there live. But Pastor would never say this, but he was in uh, the, the uh, beginnings of the Imperials. How many have heard of the Imperials? Yeah. He, he was in the Oak Ridge Boys. Have you heard of the Oak Ridge Boys? <laughs> he was in the Bill Gaither Trio, the first to succeed a Gaither after he yeah. passed or was or at least left the, left the, the Gaither group. trio. Yeah. yeah. You were non gaith the first non gaither in the Gaither, gaither trio. <laughs> you started the Gaither vocal band. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you've pastored for many years, yeah. evangelist for even more, hits yeah. on the charts in the top forty. And now for how many how long have you been here in Branson? I've uh, been here fifteen uh, years. But pastoring seven years. Seven years as yeah. pastor of Faith and Wisdom yeah. Church. Yeah. With great all church. these great athletes, and here Good he folks. is right here today. Good folks. On the Kevin Shore yeah. Show. I love you and Carol, my love wife too, and I, we brother. love you. We love our time together. Boy, we went, you took us to one of the greatest restaurants in town. We need to get a sponsor from them because I'll talk about them all day long. The Paradise Grill. It's amazing. I, it's even it? got a name that's perfect. Paradise. Paradise. Right. Go to Paradise. It's yes. great. 
Well, listen, thank you for coming to the church on uh, July, whatever yes, that was. Yes, this is captured yeah, on DVD for all our partners. Absolutely amazing. Amazing night. Great, great victories. Great, Many people healed. Great healings, uh, yes. Yeah, people dedicating yeah. their lives to the Lord. Great they come sermon, up to me all the great time. Great message. Yeah, I just felt in my heart because, you know, the Lord is coming soon, and there's such a change, too, in America. Yes. There's a lot of, just a, an undercurrent of good and bad, yep. and uh, hopefully the good's going to win out. I know it will. But in these last days, we've got to be a person, uh, a people yeah. that is more aggressive yeah. to push forward. Well, you know, the Bible's called the good news, but it's certainly not fake news, I'll tell you that. Not fake. And That's right. No, no fake, fake news. news there because it's real and it's truth and it works. Yeah. You know, I tell, I tell um, Sunday, Sunday I preached uh, about no, not looking back. Too many people get stuck in what their past has Amen. been and, and where they've been and all the stuff easily. they've done. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so easy for all of us to get stuck in a place where our past beats us up. You know, we've all got problems with our past. Anybody who doesn't have a problem with your past, I want to talk to you after the show. Right, hello. I want to figure out You're how that breathing. works. Yeah, yeah. Not breathing, that's right. <laughs> so uh, so when, when we realize that, you know, one of the things I said Sunday, and let me repeat this. Please I said, do, uh, good. Our brain is not our mind. Our brain is a function of an organ of the body. This is it good. will go to dust when we die. Yes, sir. The mind will live forever. Mm. So the devil attacks us in the mind. Now the brain processes, and so our, we're really like a computer. You got the CPU which sits on the floor or on your desk, and uh, if you don't put software in there, yeah. you get a blue screen. That's it. You, that's all you get. You get nothing. Is that uh, why I have a blue screen? I uh, maybe some days you get up. That's why you need George's song to get you. That's get oh, some what a beautiful morning. Load. That's, that's what a beautiful true. morning. Uh, you have to put software in your computer to make it work. And the Bible is that software yes, for us, sir. for Amen. our minds, and it feeds us, and it directs us, and it keeps us going, especially if Philippians 2.5 is correct, let this mind that is in Christ Jesus be also yes, in sir. you, then we know how to operate. So where we, get, where we get off base is we allow the things of the world to control us and to determine where we're headed and to say to us, this is what you're going to do today because of the circumstance or the situation that drags us down, puts weight on our shoulders, and we just don't know how to make it. Yeah. So if we stay in that, you know, I believe we don't live in the past. We can't. We actually don't live in the future either. Mm. We don't live in the present. Mm. We have to live in the promises of God. Amen. And well, that's those, good, isn't it? That was worth right there. It's a TV show. We can clap. Yeah. <laughs> Those are everlasting. Yeah. So they're not yesterday, future, or today. The, when we live in the promise of God, we're not bound by any of that. Yes, sir. Because the promise of God is true. If that's not fake news, if that's good news or real news, then we can establish our life on that and say, God, you said this, and because you said it, it's not fake news. Mm -hmm. It's the real thing. I'm going to believe that, and I'm going to live my life accordingly. Yes, sir. And, and let me say this, and I teach this to a lot of young people. The longer the line of preparation, the more likely you will intersect the line of opportunity. Ooh. A lot of us want opportunities, but we're not willing to pay the price. Boy, that's the truth. The price comes with a long line of preparation. So you got to forget the past to prepare for what God has for you. So when we have a long line of preparation, when we're in the Word, when we're studying, when we're reading, when we're developing and praying and, and knowing what God wants for us as our spirit is connected to the mind of Christ, then that long line of preparation creates in us this opportunity. I don't know if you remember when you were young. I, I hardly can. <laughs> I but, kinda. Uh, yeah. So some of us can. In some our young memory. days, we wanted opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Right. We uh, wanted, uh, uh, what is that to show America's Got Talent? We wanted American yeah. Idol. We wanted The Voice. And we wanted to do it right now. When we were 15, 16. I see yes. those young people on there. Yeah. I'm smart enough. I know everything. And then, As then a they teenager, get, I thought I knew they everything. They get what they want, but they don't know how to handle it because there's been no preparation. Right. They've not been prepared well. So what God wants us to do is continue preparing. Once we continue preparing and fill our mind with the software of the Word of God, then He will direct our paths, the Bible Amen. says. When Amen. we delight in Him, things change. It's all different because He's directing our paths. Yeah. It makes all the difference. It does make all the difference. I mean, we have a, there's a, the next generation kind of like, well, it's owed to us. There seems to be a whole like a sure. entitlement there society really of, well, it's owed to us. So we're, we're just going to take it, you know, and go, cause we're kind of taught the American culture is you can get anything you want. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's like those who win the lottery, yeah. you know, uh, I think there's more than 50% of them are penniless and in poverty right. <laughs> within just four years of winning a big amount. Cause they, there's no foundation. Right. There's no. There's no education to back it up. What to do with that Many money? Many of them have said, I wish I'd never won that. 
Yeah. yeah Wish they I never won that. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So, so without preparation, without structure, without, you know, God's a system God. He didn't, when he created the world, he spoke it into existence, but he didn't just say, go do your own thing, stars, sun, moon. I mean, every morning the sun comes up, every evening mm -hmm. it sets. God's a systematic God. Wow. And God wants our lives to be systematic That's as well. That's true. Yes, so when sir. we get up in the morning, we have a, a conscience knowledge of him and, and we listen to George's song and and then, oh, we, what a beautiful then we get going. I'm going to get that on CD. <laughs> Do you have that on CD? We got to get a George Dyer CD but, for the morning. But we have, to have, we have to live within the systems of God. And um, Jesus came to fulfill the law. That doesn't mean the law is thrown away. It just means that in him are all the answers to all the things that God's yes. system says for us to do. Yeah, definitely there. Yeah. We need to fall in line with that. There, there have been times when you wonder, why am I in this situation? You know, many successful people, actors or wealthy people, are just, they're miserable because yeah. they got the, this without the foundation. The greatest foundation, the greatest download we can have in our computer Absolutely. is the Word of God. And maybe you've made mistakes, but it's never too late to get back on track. Do you believe that, I Pastor? Believe I, believe I want you to pray with somebody and look in your camera and just, just pray that somebody will, will come get back on track and really lean on the Lord. That's, that's the key to how he'll direct our paths. Lean not to our own understanding yes. in all our ways, but in all our ways acknowledge him. Amen. Get his download and he'll direct our paths. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for your blessings. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray today for everyone who's watching, who's struggling with life. Lord, I know it presses in on us. I know there are things that don't work out like we thought they would. Mm. Lord, we're very aware of that. But Lord, as Kevin has said, give us a download. Give us a software update. Father, I pray that as we read your word that you would allow the Holy Spirit of God to enlighten us, to reveal to us those things that we haven't known before, we haven't realized before. Father, help to open our minds so that we can have the mind of Christ. For every person, Father, who's watching this program today, Father, I pray who's struggling with life and, and having trouble and difficult circumstances and things going on that are not what they expected. Father, I pray right now, as they agree with me and with Kevin on this program today, that you would lighten their load, take their burden, break the chains, Lord, that have held them. Father, I pray that you would give us freedom. You are a God of freedom, mm -hmm. and we claim that today. Yes, Lord. Satan is a binder. He binds us. He, he puts us in chains, but you're the chain breaker, and we thank you, Lord, that being the chain breaker, we give that to you. And we say, break these chains. Take them off of me, yes, Lord. God. I give you my life. And I expect your spirit to fill me and overflow me. And I expect victory in my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today. Amen. 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 This is the road to recovery. This is the road yes. to success. The, the road where God wants you. His favor will be upon you if you lean upon him. Thank you, Pastor, for sharing. Thank you, Ken. And, uh, you know, sometimes we just get busy doing, 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 even in ministry. Yeah. And uh, the Bible clearly says, I'm going to get on my soapbox in a bit to be still and know that he is God. Mm. Just listen to him and yes. know his word. Let it just feed you so you can do these things. And uh, that's what George is going to come and sing. And George, you're at the, uh, uh, Mer no. It is Americana. Americana Theater, you're there with our friends Patsy and Patsy Klein, which is C.J. Newsom and Terry Sanders and all there. But go see George Dyer. You're there. What days and what times? Is it mixed up or is it all every day? Tuesday morning at 10 and Wednesday and Saturday night. Tuesday at 10 and say it again in your microphone so I can do it. Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday and Thursday night at 7.30. Go there. It's one of the best shows in Branson for sure. And now here is my friend George Dyer. Thank you. 
It doesn't get any better than that. I was just being still, you know, in all the hustle and bustle of life. It's the hardest thing sometimes to just stop and uh, just listen to what the Lord has to say. But he wants to speak to you today. If you don't know him, I pray that you will find him. You'll find out that he's a God that's not just way up there in the sky. Sometimes we throw up these weird words like, you know, the big man in the sky or, you know, the... The, the old man judge or whatever, that he's something separate from us. But he's not. He's with us. He's a very present help in time of trouble. And when you're facing trouble, like the first time this mentioned of be still and know that I'm God was in Exodus when they were at the Red Sea and uh, the million Jews are like, you know, what are we supposed to, ah! You know, have you ever had that ah moment? And uh, God told Moses, stand still, be still, and you'll see the salvation of the Lord today. So stand still and lean upon Him and trust Him. It's throughout Scripture, over and over, Old Testament and New Testament, that we're to be still and not try to do anything in ourselves. Well, I'm just trying to be a good Christian. Well, you'll never make it because our righteousness is like filthy rags. But He says... Trust in me and in me. Outside of me, he says in John, Jesus said in John, the Gospels, I'm the vine, you're the branches. Outside of me, you can do nothing. So you can try all you want. You still can't be Mr. Super Christian. You have to lean upon him and trust and abide in the vine. And if you abide in him and his words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done. It means just stop and take in a breath. Sometimes they say in an argument, it's best to just stop and take a breath. Well, stop arguing against uh, the spirit and just take a breath and listen to what the Spirit says to you and to the church. And then we'll have the power to tell the world, Jesus is the answer for our world today. We'll be back tomorrow to tell you that again. We'll see you then. Everybody here online that's watching, uh, thank you for watching. And you are blessed today because George is going to do one more song. Anybody in the studio audience want to hear George do one more song? All right, it's unanimous. We took a census. And uh, <laughs> you have to sing one more time. He's going to sing. Now, I picked this. Don't, don't beat him up. I picked this. It's called Ain't That a Kick in the Head. And uh, 
I just, I just felt like some of us need that kick in the head sometimes. Isn't it about love? You know, just falling in love is a it kick is. in the head. Yeah. And so, but we need to fall in love. Sometimes we need a kick in the head, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Or, and, or and other parts. Lucky are we when, when, our, when our sweethearts are kicking away. We love it. Amen. That's right, women. Kick away. Your husbands kick love it. Kick away. Before he sings, though, if everybody wants to hear it, you got to put something in the offering basket. No, you don't have to. But, <laughs> but, but we're going to take up an offering, and uh, we do it here in the studio. And those that are watching, send in today, kevinshore.com, or call us at 844-47-KEVIN, or write us at P.O. Box 1122, Branson, Missouri, 65615. We are here 24 hours. You can call us anytime, day or night, for prayer or for your donation. It does help us to keep going. We really desperately, 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 if we're going to get through August, man, we need to hear from you today. We're having the summer slump. I don't know if it happens in churches. Maybe it does when people go on vacation, but the summer slump when it comes to giving. And so we are dependent on God's people working together, our family and friends. So if you do it, I'm going to pray over you right now, and then we're going to close out with Ain't That a Kick in the Head. It's the first offertory of Ain't That Kick in the Head in the history of the church. And, uh, but I'm telling you, I don't do things normal. I don't think we should. But um, God, we thank you that you have made us uh, be above normal. You've made us a peculiar people, a chosen generation. And you said that we will have favor, blessing, and increase all our days. That you will prosper us and help us and be on our side if we'll put you first in our life. So we seek your kingdom first. That's why we're taking this time to even give an offering. And we ask that all the donations we bless, the seed planted will reach more souls and, and reach those who are hungry for more of you, God. I pray that will happen today as we give today. So a blessing on everybody within the sound of my voice. And we'll give you praise in Jesus' name name. Thank you, God, for coming into our heart and giving us a kick in the head when we need it. And uh, here is the one and the only. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Josh Clark will be here from Branson News. He's going to tell us what's happening in Branson. Shepherd the Hills got a new thing happening there and all that stuff. And uh, little E. Little, e. little Elvis is going to be. He shouldn't be little E anymore. He should be teeny. Yeah, he's a teenager now. He's no longer four and five, six years old. He's 14. Deal with it, little E. Anyway, we'll talk to him about that tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. George Dyer. Woo! All right, I'm going to loosen my top of this one. There we go. All right. How lucky can one man be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like a fellow once said, ain't that a kick in the head? The room was completely black I hugged her and oh, she hugged back Like a sailor said, quote Ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning I go to sleep and keep grinning If this is just the beer again My life is gonna be Tell me one more day. That's right. It's one last said. Tell me everything gets better when you're kicked by your sweetheart. Oh, tell me quick, Kevin Shorey. Oh, ain't that a kick? Come on, finish it with me. Hurry up. Tell us quick. Ain't that a kick? <laughs> yeah, do it again. Play it out. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Woo! I could die a happy man. I sang a lot, one note with George Dyer. Thank you.